In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the battery on the iPhone 7 Plus. Once the device is powered down, take your pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws at the bottom of the phone, either side of the lightning connector. These never seem to be magnetic, so I use my tweezers to pop them out and store them safely for later. Now they're removed, I'm going to take a single-sided razor blade and create a small gap in between the plastic bezel on the screen and the chassis of the phone. I'll insert it a little bit and just pull it backwards so that I can create a larger gap now, just big enough to fit the plastic guitar pick in there, and then only inserting it a couple of millimetres, I'm going to run it along the right hand edge, back along this bottom edge, and then finally along this left hand edge. A lot of tutorials might say that you need heat to do this, but I've found that the pick works perfectly. I'll now lift up the screen, give it a little wiggle, and then flick it open, just like opening a book from the back cover. It'll help if you pop a weighted object behind the screen. I've got this little PCB holder that does the trick nicely. If you don't have one of those, a mug will do perfectly well. We're now gonna remove the screen. We're now gonna disconnect the battery and remove the screen. So we'll use a tri-wing screwdriver to remove the four screws on this L-shaped shield. Just take a note of which ones are the short ones and which are the long ones. I'll remind you when we're putting this back together though and store those safely for later. Use your tweezers to remove the shield. You might find that the battery connector sticks to that shield. However, if it doesn't, don't panic. Just use a plastic spudger to disconnect it afterwards. We'll use the spudger again to disconnect this cable for the display and this cable for the home button and then move up to the top of the device and remove another three tri-wing screws that hold down this other smaller shield for the front camera and the ear speaker. Store those screws again safely for later, then use your tweezers to lift up the shield and the plastic spudger to disconnect the flex cable just here. I can now remove this screen safely and store that for later. Don't worry about if any of the adhesive comes with it, we're going to replace that too in a little while. Now we're going to get some isopropyl alcohol in one of these little dropper bottles. I'll leave a link for one of these in the description below and I'm just going to apply a bead of isopropyl alcohol around both long edges of the battery and then we'll put an extra bit in between here and here on the adhesive. It's stuck down really well on these, so we're going to leave that for about five minutes to soak in, and then we'll come back and peel off the adhesive, and I'll show you the easiest and best way to do that. Now that the alcohol's soaked in for a few minutes, I'm going to take my tweezers now, and I'm just going to be careful so that I can sort of get the whole part of the adhesive in my grip, just like that, so that there's none stuck to that top part of the battery. And I'll grip onto the adhesive and just start spinning it round like that, pulling it out as low as possible, wrapping it round, and notice how I'm pulling it to the side a little bit, and this adhesive's coming out. A lot of people snap these. I'll probably snap it now because I've sort of jinxed myself. But if you take your time and there's enough alcohol soaked in, it should be pretty easy to pull this out without any real problems. Once you've got a good grip of it, you can get your fingers on there and pull it off like that. And I'd call that an absolute textbook removal of that adhesive. We'll repeat the same on the other two little strips. And I'm bound to get this wrong now that I've said I'm doing well. But definitely wiggling it from side to side will help. Pulling it to the side. Try not pull it straight because it they do have a tendency to snap. If you do find that they snap and you're having a hard time getting them out, then you can do the prior shame. Although you don't want to be using metal tools, use something like the plastic guitar pick from iFixit to get under the side here and just pry it up. Heat might be a friend with that as well. But because we're doing so well on pulling these tabs out, I'm going to pull the last one out. Just to show off really. With those successfully removed, we'll just pop the battery out now. And notice that there's quite a lot of alcohol still under there, so we're going to just mop that up with a clean room wipe. It should evaporate on its own anyway, but we'll just speed up the process a little bit. The battery that I'm using is an X-Cap battery from Replace Base. Extended capacity battery as well. It comes with the adhesive already installed, which is always a bonus. Saves me a step. Sometimes you'll find that these aren't already applied, so you'll have to do it yourself. But the easiest way to make sure that these are secured down properly is use the battery strips that come with the battery, secure it onto the logic board first, 
then secure the battery down rather than securing the battery down only to find that you've got it misaligned a little bit do it that way and it'll work really really nicely don't forget to disconnect the battery again once it is all secured and now we're just going to remove any of the remaining dust and moisture resistant seal from the previous one and replace that with a fresh one if you find that it's dusty or there's a lot of glue left behind then apply a bead of i then apply a bead of alcohol around the edge and then use like a stiff brush toothbrush works well as long as it's not the one you used this morning to brush your teeth and give it a good clean along the edges of the chassis and this is going to mean that the new adhesive will have the best surface to stick down to now we'll apply the new dust and moisture resistant seal lining it up in the top left corner first followed by this left hand edge allowing the rest of it to sit perfectly along the edges use a spudger to make sure that it sits down right all the way around and peel off the backing sheet we'll leave the rest of the blue stuff attached whilst we reassemble the phone now the easiest way to get this put back together is to offer up this home button flex cable first making sure that it sits down nicely in the fpc connector followed by the longer one for the display pop the weighted object behind the screen again freeing up both your hands then up to the top to re-secure the front camera and esp flex line that up with your tweezers and make sure that it's stuck down properly reapply the shield now and the three tri-wing screws that hold that down with those re-secured we can reattach the battery now or reconnect the battery should i say then secure the l-shaped bracket and i always put the long one in first so that i don't get it in the wrong hole followed by the other three shorter screws With those attached, I'll use my tweezers to peel off the final part of the dust and moisture resistant seal. Fold the screen down so that we can get around the back of it for the last half. And then the easiest way to resecure this screen is to make sure that it slides in up at the top and then squeezes down on the left edge and the right edge before finally installing those two pentalab screws down at the bottom of the device. If you find that your device won't turn on after replacement, reverse the steps that we've taken in this video to help you diagnose the problem. But that just about completes this video on how to replace the battery on the iPhone 7 Plus. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.